welcome back to Skyrim. The legendary Altmer Dragon. Golden Glow, the finale. This be the last part of it. I had to back up a little bit because the game stalled when I was recording, so I had to redo this part of the escape from Golden Glow. There we are, we're on the outside now. He is a little injured at this point. So we're going to jump into the water before he gets noticed. Heal up over here. Hopefully they don't find it. And we're heading down to the south end of the island to take care of the bee farm. So you might notice we're swimming a little bit here. If we can find some little fish, like this one over here, that would be like a speed tail or a dragonfly would be nice. But those things are really hard to catch. Alright. Look at that. See? There we go. We got the fish. That's a uh, alchemical ingredient right there. So now we're fishing. Our game's changed to Fishborn. Okay. Oops. He's dying. He's dying. But there is a canis root over here, and we're going to pick that up. And some flowers. Good thing they didn't notice the song song. Alright, so we will swim a little bit more south here. We're going to stop at this island to get our health back. And pick the Smyrna root. And, uh, well, on slaughterfish eggs. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. For good alchemy. Now, let's uh, swim under the water here again. And, uh, which part of the island do I need to come up on? There we go. We're going to come up here, jump up onto the island, and come up to the back of this place, we'll pick some flowers. We've got purple, red, and blue flowers that we're picking. Blue's for health, red's for magic. Purples for stamina. And there's probably a bunch of bees around here. If I can find one. Oops. They found us before I could catch a bee. That means I'm going to have to set these things on fire. Pick up some flowers. Sweet. You guys see them? I don't see any coming. There's one over there. Oh, there's four or five that all popped up. Return to Brim. Alright, well, that's Golden Glow. We set the uh, three. Uh... Oh, there's some fish over here. Three beehives on fire there. And is there another one around here? Get some air. Go back down. I could use a little water breathing potions for this. But we'll save that because I think there might be something else later. Alright. Well, we're still south of here. So now we have to go back to Riften. Turn in our bounty. We're actually going to sell some stuff too, as long as the stores are open. Uh, because we uh, had those hired thugs that the Imperial Quartermaster that I got all my steel arrows from and my uh, Imperial Sword from uh, sent some, hired some thugs to come and get me. It happens like that all the time. Yep, when he was crossing the border from Cyrodiil into uh, Skyrim, he ran into an Imperial camp just outside of uh, just outside of Skyrim, over in Shadenhall, and uh, that's where he got his arrows. Well, no excitement for today. Nothing attacking me. It's pretty good.
Well, let's see. The south gate again. I'll probably have to head to the north gate. Back around the building over here. Well, we can run. Running uses our stamina, so we have to be careful how much of it we use. So if we don't have enough to flee actual danger, then we'll probably be in trouble. There's like lots of spiders, there's some trolls out here, there's some real dangerous elements that you just don't want to know about. It's all out here, just waiting for me to step outside the walls. Like those hired, hired thugs, they don't usually jump you inside the towns. Usually when you step out of town, that's when they show up. That's just the way they are. Alright. What's in the barrel? Take all items? No, I don't need a ride right now. There we go. Now we're back to Riften. And we're going to visit the shops, sell all the goodies that we got, amass a fortune here in Riften. All right. Go up this way. There's, There's an apothecary in town, yeah. Honey. But it's down on the lower walkway. If you're looking for anything to sell for a fair price, I run the pond prawn over by the market. All right, well, you're not there right now. So I can't use that. Everything all right? Sure. You come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Nope, I'm here to sell What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? What do you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. All right, we're going to sell some steel daggers, a steel greatsword, a steel mace, a steel sword, steel warhammer, and uh, what else do we got here? Branded iron shield, like boots, uh, bracers. Mm, that will get rid of. And leather boots of strength. We're gonna do something else with that. Well, let's see. We don't have much of anything else. If you need any more smithing work, come see, come see me again. Well, not yet. We're gonna make some leathers. And then we'll build some helmets. Nothing like the smell of a white hot blade, eh? Looking for some armor? A weapon, perhaps? All right. Yeah. That good armor you put together. Huh? What do you got for sale? Take a look. Sure thing. I got some uh, leather bracers to sell, some leather helmets to sell, and uh, that's about it. If you need any more smithing, come see me again. Now we're on our route down to the Ragged Flagon to talk to Brynjolf. Tell him about the Golden State. The Golden Globe? Golden Glow? State job that we just finished. We're going to tell him about the letter and the strange symbol on top of that letter. Well, it looks like somebody cleaned up our place. There's no dead bodies lying around. Back 
to the ragged flag. I think we'll visit High Rock this time to finish our Bedlam job. So our next mission after this is going to be the Bedlam job, I believe. Ragged Flag. We're back. And we have to go this way. Let's go talk to Brynjolf, who's hiding behind this door in the cistern. We're here in the cistern, and there he is. He's just waiting for us. Hello, Brynjolf. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Yes, and here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea at all. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Sure, but will I come out of there alive? <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just, it's just business. What does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet, lad. Dampen spirits. We have to go speak with Maven Blackrock. Is that actually on our list of things to do? Not exactly. But we'll put up these two. The Bedlam job and the burglary job. Those are two very important jobs that need to be done. I think if Brignol catches a bit, let's go check our safe over here. Put anything that we uh, want to keep safe in there, supposedly. Is this it? Must be this way. Who's that? Oh, we already talked to him. Search the guild chest. All right, this is our stuff that we're just going to stash in here. Now, oh, we can stash one of these axes. We'll store the belt of tunic, boots. Okay, copy ruby circlet, fine clothes, gloves, the hats. Miscellaneous things. B in the jar. Store that in there. Oh, the Queen Bee statue. We gotta take that over to uh, Evelyn. That'll be our next uh, target right there. Let's go to Devlin. Talk to him. Tell him about the group Queen Bee statue that we found. I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. 
What are you talking about? I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? I'll have to think about it. Indeed. It is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. Oh, I shouldn't ask, but what? Would you guys change that face? Look at that face. That's that's the best face in the universe. Rockstar material right there. Okay. Oh, there's Devlin. I don't know which. So, what can I do for you today? Can I sell this Queen Bee statue to you? Well, well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. There you go. This should cover it. Don't forget you're representing the guild. Don't look at it. Ah, just got lucky. Out with it. Time, time is someone who knew someone else. The rest just writes itself. Don't sit in this chair over here. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. What have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. We'll sell this potion of slow. Alta line. Yeah. Notice that? I have a sweet roll. Nobody better steal my sweet roll. Okay, so that book. Contract. Guide better thieving. So that one. Mystery of Talara. Scourge of the Grey Quarter and the Wolf Cream Volume 3. Alright. Darn it. Sell it. Nobody sold him. Anything stolen? Nope. We're good. She cleans everything that I can sell to her, so it's all pretty good. A workish bow of soul snares. Oh. Pricey. Orcish bow though. 56. Alright. I'll go with that. We need a new bow anyway. Dagger of Arcing. Shorax. Mace of Drain. Drain's Magica. Well. Can't have everything. Potion. Extended vis Invisibility. No. All right, lockpicks. We need more of those. All right, thanks. Until, until next time. Okay, looks like we're done over here. So we got a couple of jobs: the bedlam job, the uh, burglary job, and we're going to talk to Maven Blackbriar. I think we're going to stop by a cooking spit down here so we can uh, see if we. Do I have carrots? I need carrots. I have salt piles. I just need some carrots. Then I can cook myself some uh, beef stew. Nope, oh, nope. The bodies are still there. They just fell on the ground this time. Let's look for a uh, carrots. Oh, green apples. So there. We got carrots. Let's go this way. Now be careful. There's. Oh, look. Torch bug. We always need those torch bugs. Anything else around here? No. Today, stay down on that. Watch out for the trap on this one. All right. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Totally forgot about these. These traps reset. 
they hit me, I'm dead. That'd be it. This dragonborn would be no more. So let's use this cooking pot. See what I can cook up. There we go. Got some beef stew. That's about it for now. That's going to be our healing potions for now. All right. And we'll do some alchemy, I guess. If we have anything to do alchemy with. Well, damage stamina's. Fortify Marksman, Canis Root, and Spider Eggs. I don't want to waste all that. Well, why not? Linger damage. Lingering damage magic. Take one of those. Resist Frost. Restore some health. Restore some stamina. I guess I'm gonna do a damage stamina. Oops, no, I guess I'm not. There we go. I'm gonna quit that for now. And then we're out of here. go all right let's go to pause it right there and we're going to pick this up in just a little bit